there. When my son was born, a friend got him a stuffed animal. This stuffed animal was a dog named Daphne. This is Daphne. Brandon loved Daphne. He would take Daphne and hug her and just rub the little silk tag up against his ear. And this is how he would fall asleep. Well, when Brandon was like two or three maybe, he came to me with tears strolling down his face, so upset. He was devastated. He held Daphne in one hand and the silk tag in the other hand. Oh, my heart broke to see him hurt. But I thought, I got this. I know how to sew. I know how to mend things. No biggie. But how do I convince my son that everything was going to be all right? After many tears and hugs, we came to the conclusion and I told Brandon that Daphne would need some surgery, but that I would be there and assist in that surgery and assist in mending Daphne and putting her back together again. Well, Brandon's sadness began to change and later was overcome with gladness when I came and brought Daphne back to him all mended. Our Lord also says, I got this. When we come to him in prayer with our brokenness. You see, it's really no biggie to him. But we have to come and hand him our brokenness and our hurt so that he can also do the surgery that's needed in our lives. It's not easy. You know that just as well as I do. However, if we allow God to work in our hearts and to do his healing and mending in our lives, then we too can be overcome with gladness. Psalms 34, 18 says, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Why? Because of God's great love to you and I. So talk to him. Tell him your hurts, what's wrong. Tell him about your brokenness. Tell him why you feel crushed. He's there and he wants to hear you. Be encouraged today. And know that God will say, I got this. And most importantly, know that he is in control. Thank you for joining me for my prayer moments with Jan. Mm -hmm.